Hey everyone, thanks for being here. Uh, just wanted to go over maybe an updated version of how to connect your electronic drum kit to an iPad. Uh, so what we're gonna look at is we're gonna actually use uh, the new Logic Pro for iPad and I've got a Roland TD11. So it's an older kit. It's got USB and MIDI out. We're gonna look at Logic Pro for iPad connecting to, uh, this is an iPad Pro 11, um, 2020 version, second gen, whatever it is, second gen, second gen. So it's got USB-C connection on the bottom and uh, that's a, there's no headphone jack or anything like that. So we're everything is coming in through USB-C. So let's have a quick look at how we're gonna connect this up and a couple settings that you need to look at to make sure that the e-drums are properly uh, mapped to your session. So let's have a quick look. Okay, there are a couple things that you're going to need to get this working. Uh, first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a USB-C uh, dongle, hub, whatever you wanna call it. it. Depending on where you're from, where you're watching this, some people like to you use the word dongle, some people hate that word, it's a hub, whatever. It doesn't matter, the connectivity is what matters here. So what I've got is, I'll just show you this here. Okay, so this is a an M-Audio MIDI Sport, something like that. I'll leave a link for this in the description below and other ones that are similar to it. But basically what you wanna do is this has got MIDI cable connected to the MIDI out on the Roland V-Drum module. Okay, so the MIDI is sending out into this M-Audio Sport and this M-Audio Sport is converting that into a USB cable. So the USB is then plugged into this uh, USB hub. I'll also leave a link in the description for this. Uh, the other white cable I've got is my USB-C charging cable that's charging my iPad while I'm doing all this so that I don't run out of battery, not like I would anyway, but that's what's happening there. Okay, so you're gonna know, first off, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got this light connected here. This is the USB light. What that's saying is this is connected to the iPad and it's receiving power. The second thing that you want is you want to turn on your drum module. You shouldn't have to do anything to the drum module, okay? The drums should already be mapped. Each drum pad has a specific uh, MIDI note number that's associated to it, and that's what sends out to the iPad. Out from the V drums, and it's coming into the M Audio Sport, and that's sending to USB to the iPad. Okay, so that's that connectivity is all working. That's great. Now. Let's go to the iPad and you're gonna open Logic Pro for iPad and let's just do a blank one here. So just hit uh, tracks, empty project and we're not gonna select drummer. We're gonna select a uh, MIDI instrument. So here we've got a MIDI instrument. Nothing's going on there because we've got nothing selected as an instrument here. We can go to instrument patches and what do you want? We could do, let's select drums. Let's go Brooklyn. Brooklyn, just like GarageBand, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we can close this library and select the track. And if we wanna hit edit, uh, sorry, not edit. There we go. Uh, so at the bottom here, this is the uh, plugins effects chain. And the first one in the chain is the drum kit designer. If you just give that a tap, okay, you'll see all of the different things are mapped out here. Now, just to double check that the Roland V drums are sending to the iPad correctly, you can scroll all the way down in the drum kit designer and right here where it says details, it says input mapping. Right now it's sent to GM, which is general MIDI and that's the same thing that GarageBand used to use or still uses, I guess. So if you hit that, it's selected GM, but if you look here, it also says V drum. That has changed the mapping ever so slightly to match what Roland always programs their V drum line of E kits to. Okay, so the, the mini mapping's a little bit different, but just to double check, you can get rid of that. And now I'm just gonna play something here and we should get sounds on each of the different drums. Okay, so I'll just do a couple here. I'll hit kick, snare, tom one, tom two, floor tom, 
ride cymbal, hi-hat, that's closed, open, Okay, let's record something real quick. Make sure that our map is good the way we want. I'll just do a really basic drum beat and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll turn the metronome on and let's go. Not perfectly in time, but the beauty about this is that it's MIDI, so in Logic Pro you can quantize those hits. Yeah, so if you're not a great drummer like me, you can quantize, everything's good. So, let's uh, move it to the front and have a quick listen. There you go. There you go. That's how easy it is. That's the awesome thing about uh, just connecting your e-kit to your iPad. Get those things programmed real quick. And yeah, I'll leave it for now. In another video, I'll show you how to quantize that and make your drums sound like you actually know what you're doing. So, thanks for being here. Uh, I hope this has helped you. If it has helped you at all, uh, if you're into, you know, home producing, any, any of that kind of stuff, click the subscribe link below and you'll be notified of future videos related to making music at home. And uh, if you would do me a, a favor, if this video you found interesting in any way or if it's helped you in any way, click the like button below because that actually helps my channel uh, show this type of video to other people that are interested in the same thing. So. Um, yeah, that would be really great if you did that. Uh, also, leave me a comment in the section below. Uh, are you using Logic Pro for iPad or are you sticking with GarageBand? I'm kind of curious to see what people think about that. So, uh, thanks for being here. I hope this has helped you and of course, keep making music.